Hello students, in the continuation of the shoulder joint lectures, today we will discuss about the relations of the shoulder joint. You have this question in your exam, write down the relations of the shoulder joint and draw the label diagram regarding the relations of the shoulder joint. So when you are having the shoulder joint, you have to keep this thing in mind that shoulder joint is surrounded by the muscles and the bursa. So you will have the anteriorly placed muscles, those are the anterior relation superior muscles which are superior relation with the bursa then you will have posterior relation and the inferior relation now first we'll discuss about the superior relations of the shoulder joint now when you will have the superior relation you should keep this thing in mind that this is your head of the humerus and this is your glenoid cavity so this is your shoulder joint now superior to this shoulder joint what structures are present so first important thing is that this is your acromial process. Now you know that this acromion process give rise to the muscle name is deltoid. So the fibers of the deltoid will come in such a way to insert on the deltoid tuberosity at humerus. Clear? So this acromial process fibers that means the deltoid fibers are important because they are the most superficial structure. In the dissection, when you want to see the shoulder joint, you have to cut the deltoid muscle because our shoulder joint lies just below or deep to the deltoid muscle. So deltoid muscle is always a very important relation of the shoulder joint. Now, below this acromial process, you have the subacromial bursa. So this is your subacromial bursa. Now you know that subacromial bursa separate the inferior surface of the acromion process and coracoacromial arch from this muscle which is known as supraspinatus. So what are the relations in the superior part? You will have the subacromial bursa. Now this subacromial bursa is a bursa which separate the supraspinatus muscle from the coracoacromial arch. Clear? So what are the relation if I am writing? I am writing the supraspinatus muscle. Above the muscle you will have the bursa. Above the bursa you will have the acromion process, coracoacromial ligament that is forming the coracoacromial arch and these structures are lies deep to these fibers of your deltoid muscle. Clear? Now you will have inferior relation. Now you know that inferiorly we don't have the muscles in large number in the lower part of your shoulder joint. That's why we know that the inferior part of the shoulder joint is the weakest part of the joint. Now in the inferior part, you are having only one muscle which is arising from the infraglenoid tubercle that is the long head of triceps. So here in this image, you can see that this is your infraglenoid tubercle and from the infraglenoid tubercle, this is the long head of triceps which is going downward. Apart from that, here you will have the two very important structures in the relation of surgical neck of humerus and this surgical neck of humerus lies just below the shoulder joint. So whenever the dislocation of the uh, head of humerus occurs, it may damage these areas or these structures. So what are these structures in the lower part? So you will have the axillary now. Now you know that this is your posterior cord. Now from the posterior cord, this is the axillary nerve is going behind, clear? So this is the one very important structure related inferiorly and this nerve is going posteriorly along with this artery which is a part or the branch of this third part of axillary artery which is known as posterior circumflex humeral artery and you will have the vein along with the artery. So whenever you are writing the inferior relation, in the inferior relation the nerve and vessels are more important relation because this is a very commonly asked question that if there is a dislocation occurs at the shoulder joint which nerve is having highest probability to get damage answer is axillary nerve. So you have to keep this thing in mind that in the inferior part we have only one muscle that is your long head of triceps and you have a very important neurovascular bundle that is axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery. Now we'll come to the anterior relation. Now my dear students, when you will see anterior relation, 
you know that there is an anterior most clavicular fibers of deltoid which you can see in your own body these are the highest prominent area and in these part now here you can see that this is the area now these are the fibers which are actually so, uh, supporting the joint from anterior side so if you want to see the anterior relation the first you have to cut this clavicular origin of the deltoid now when you will remove this flap of the deltoid anteriorly deep to that you will find the muscle like coracobrachialis you will find the muscle like the origin of the short head of the biceps you know that both these muscles arises from the tip of the coracoid process so you will find deep to that coracobrachialis and the short head of biceps apart from that you know this is the muscle which is known as subscapularis now this subscapularis also crosses the joint from the anterior aspect so you will find this subscapularis muscle which is arising from the subscapular fossa going towards the lesser tubercle from the anterior aspect of the joint so you will find this muscle and we know that this muscle is remain separated from the joint that is subscapular bursa to avoid the friction so these structures are very well visible in this video clip now here you can see that this is your anterior part of the deltoid so first we will remove this deltoid now once you will remove the deltoid you are able to see this is the tip of coracoid process this is the short head of the biceps and when you will remove the short head you will have the coracobrachialis when you will remove the coracobrachialis you will have this muscle is subscapularis when you will remove the subscapularis you will have the bursa of the subscapular subscapularis and then you will have the capsule of the anterior part of shoulder joint so my dear students what are the anterior relation you will have deltoid deep to deltoid you will have short head of the biceps then you will have coracobrachialis then you will have subscapularis and deep to subscapularis you will have the bursa of subscapularis and then you will reach to the anterior aspect of the joint clear so these are the anterior relations of shoulder joint now we'll move to the posterior relations of the joint now dear students when we'll talk about the posterior relation you have to go in the posterior part of the joint now in the posterior part of the joint again you will find the posterior fibers of the deltoid so here you will find the posterior fibers of the deltoid which are arising from this part of the acron process and they are going in such a way now when you will remove these posterior fibers of the deltoid deep to that you will find a muscle is going laterally from the infraspinous fossa that is infraspinatus and posteriorly you are having one more muscle is teres minor because you know that on this greater tubercle posteriorly the posterior part of the greater tubercle receives the muscles like infraspinatus and teres minor so these two muscles are in the posterior relation and you have the bursa of the infraspinatus also so in this video clip you can see the posterior relation you are seeing this is the spinous pr process of the scapula so this is the origin of posterior fibers of the deltoid which are visible here so if you will remove these posterior fibers of the deltoid what you are able to appreciate that deep to these posterior fibers you are able to see the muscles those are inserting on the greater tubercle now here on the greater tubercle you can see this is the infraspinatus and below the infraspinatus you will have this teres minor and deep to the infraspinatus you are able to see this is the bursa for the inf infraspinatus clear so these are the posterior relations of the shoulder joint so we have seen the anterior relation we have seen the posterior relation we have seen the superior relation and the inferior relations of the shoulder joint now the question comes is how to draw this these relations in the exam now dear students whenever you are drawing the relation the first thing which you have to understand here that i am having this scapula here now when i am drawing the relation you generally draw this outline of your glenoid cavity now dear students when you are drawing this outline you have to keep in mind that there is a presence of a notch in the outline it is not a oval shaped glenoid cavity it is having a notch so when you are drawing the notch 
it could be like this or it could be like this clear now this notch is very important because in my previous class of the shoulder joint i told you that this notch comes here because of the tendon of subscapularis so the subscapularis tendon is responsible to produce this notch so if i am making the notch if i am drawing this shape i have to keep in mind that this is the ventral surface of the scapula and i have to draw the subscapularis here but if I am making the notch on this side, if you are making the notch on this side, then this will become the ventral surface of the scapula and then you have to draw the subscapularis on this side of the, this diagram. So it should be very clear in your mind that whenever you are drawing the notch, that notch will decide the anterior surface or the anterior relation. Clear? So in this image, you can see that this is the notch and this is the remaining part of the your glenoid cavity so once you are drawing the notch here this will become the anterior aspect of the joint so when i am drawing this notch here this will become the anterior aspect and in the anterior aspect we have seen the relation so what is the outermost relation i told you in the outermost you will have the anterior or clavicular fiber of the deltoid so once you will remove the clavicular fiber of deltoid, you will have the short head of the biceps along with the coracobrachialis. So you have to first draw the deltoid, deep to the deltoid, you have to draw these two muscles, that is the short head of the biceps along with the coracobrachialis and deep to that you have the subscapularis. So this is the subscapularis muscle and deep to the subscapularis, you will have the bursa of subscapularis. And then you will reach to this green color outline. This is showing the capsule of the shoulder joint. Now we will draw the superior relations of the shoulder joint. In the superior relation, the most important relation is coracoacromial arch. So coracoacromial arch is formed by the three structure. This is your acromion process. So you have to draw the acromion process. Then you will have the coracoid process. And in between them, you will have this coracoacromial arch. Clear? Now, the another important thing is that below this coracoacromial arch, you will have this subacromial bursa and you know that subacromial bursa separate the coracoacromial arch from the supraspinatus muscle. So below that, you have to draw this supraspinatus muscle. Clear? Now, when you will go posteriorly, now in the posterior side, I told you that behind you will have the posterior fibers of the deltoid and deep to the posterior fibers, you will have infraspinatus and teres minor. So here you have to draw these posterior fibers of the deltoid and deep to that, you have to draw these infraspinatus muscle and the some part of teres minor muscle. Clear? Now in the lower part, I told you in the lower part, you will have only the long head of the triceps. So you can draw this is the long head of triceps. But the more important relation is the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral artery. So my dear students, when you are drawing this section, the most important thing which you have to keep in mind is the notch. If you are, I am drawing the notch on this side, then I have to see the subscapularis here. But if you are drawing the notch on the opposite side, then the subscapularis will come on that side because that will become the anterior surface. Clear? Now the another important thing is that when you are drawing the uh, this uh, diagram, you can keep this as a nutshell uh, in your mind that anteriorly, if I am drawing this notch, then automatically this will become anterior, this will become posterior. I have to draw the superior and inferior relation. Inferiorly, I told you, you will have only one muscle that is the long head. Apart from that, you will have the very important axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery. Anteriorly, you have to draw what you have to draw from superficial to deep. You have to keep in mind there is an anterior or clavicular fibers of the deltoid. Deep to that, you will have the short head of biceps and coracobrachialis. And deep to that, you will have subscapularis. Superiorly, you will have the very important thing is supraspinatus, which is separated from the coracoacromial arch by the your subacromial bursa. So subacromial bursa is a very important relation in the superior part of your shoulder joint. And when you will go posteriorly, you will have the again posterior fibers of the deltoid along with your infraspinatus and teres minor. Clear? So now, my dear students, at the end of this session, 
it should be very clear in your mind that what are the different relations of the shoulder joint and how to draw this uh, shoulder joint diagram in your exam. Clear? So this is all for the session. Thank you.